What's up guys? Welcome back to another classic car walk around here at Coyote Classics. And today, uh, Chad and I are super thrilled to show you guys this 1958 uh, Studebaker Silverhawk. Uh, these, this is a car you do not see very often. No, definitely. And uh, I mentioned in our ad, every time we've ever got one of these 56, 7, 8, 9 Studebakers, I mean, they sell about as fast as they come in the door. Yeah, uh, reason being very, very low production numbers, and the guys that have them want to hold on to them. Yeah, we did just a little bit of research on this. In uh, 1958, uh, the Silverhawk V8s were about 4,900 of them produced. And if you got into the Golden Hawk, it was like 800 and some. So yeah. very, very rare. And these finned Studebakers are just a super sought after car. Oh yeah. I mean, it looks like it's one of those like cars that could be on land and water almost. <laughs> amphibious? <laughs> yeah, it's an amphibious machine. All right, so um, one thing with this uh, Studebaker, which I think is just really cool, um, it's never been changed. Uh, no one's ever went ahead and uh, took the original power plant out, nothing like that, put a Chevy 350 in, which you see a lot of Studebakers that way, and we've had them that way, but uh, it's just really, you set that uh, prop rod anywhere under there, Dalton. Um, this is just a really cool car, and we did run the numbers on it. Again, I'm not 100% sure exactly the cubic inch, but what we got out of it was 259 cubic inch four barrel. Um, they made a 259, they made a 289, and from the numbers that we found on it, that's uh, what my tech had uh, believed it to be. Um, really good car though. It came into our dealership with the original wheels and tires. I went ahead, I do have the original wheels and tires and they come with the car, but we went ahead and just went ahead and put these uh, Magna 500s on there with good BFG raised white letter tires on it. Just gives this car just a little different look to it. Um, other than that, pretty much bone stock. We don't have no power steering in it, but uh, it steers awesome doll with that bigger steering wheel. I'm excited to, to get behind the wheel of this car. <laughs> the first time I drove it, guys, I was super impressed. Um, took it down the road and uh, just a ton of stuff worked, which a lot of times when stuff comes into our dealership, we have to spend so much time with these things in the shop. This one we didn't, so. And what we find too is a lot of these cars that are like this that really haven't been messed with are very original. Those are the ones where they're just a sweetheart of a car and everything works and you can yeah. jump in it and cruise. Exactly, it's a, it's a good example of that. You wanna get that prop rod and I'll kinda help you with the hood. Now these hoods, guys, are very heavy, so um, just gotta kinda be careful with them and not slam them down. That is exactly the proper way to close one of these hoods without screwing it up. So, if we go to the front, and again, this car is an older restoration on a very nice original car. Um, the front bumper and stuff very well could be original. It does have some little scuffs in it. The grill, all three grills are in really good shape. But again, a few little pits, a few imperfections, but the overall appearance is just cool on this car. It's, it's more than cool. I mean, the front ends on these, you can't see nothing quite like it. I mean, the emblem, I mean, you got your little like turn signals up high with fins on those. I mean, it's just a- Yeah, it is it's damn cool. cool. You're right. Just like this, uh, little arrow up here. It's got the turn signals mounted in there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those on. I, I'd be a miracle if they work still, but go we'll try them out. I'll be dang it does. Check the other side. They both work, guys. You that knew is, that. You knew I did that. not know that. I definitely didn't know that. <laughs> um, as far as uh, the gap and stuff, we got a nice even gap from top to bottom. Now, whoever painted this Studebaker, and I hope the I hope it's got enough sun here that it shows it. It's kind of a pearl white, kind of like you see in the newer Cadillac colors, stuff like that. So it's definitely not just a, an off-white or a bright white, it's a pearl white, um, older paint job, so you are gonna find some chips, some little scuffs, little cracks, stuff like that. But the overall appearance, like I said, is really good on it. As we look at the top of the hood, um, we have a few little paint chips here, a small one there. Our gap's just a little tighter at the very top than it is at the bottom, not bad, but um, also when they painted it, they did paint around this rubber, which I would have did that differently and put a new gasket in there. It's got a couple scratches down here in the lower front fender. 
But as we look down here, guys, no bubbles, no blisters, nothing like that. Um, same thing here, this rubber got, when they repainted it, they taped the rubbers off and they didn't do a great job right there on that rubber. So the car, if a guy went ahead and put the door rubbers and a new rubber seal there, that would really um, help it out a ton. Rocker panel's very solid, nice. Bottom corner of the door is good. Lower quarter panel is excellent. So what you're getting here, guys, is a very solid car. Go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Check out those undercarriage photos. Not perfect, but a very, very good solid old car. Um, as far as the uh, pearl paint on the roof, all looks really nice as well. Um, the stainless here all looks good. The top of the back seat is nice. No cracks there. Uh, top of the uh, um, rear package tray also is in really good Here's shape. Here's kind of a, a good spot to kind of maybe see where that color is a little bit better. On the inside where the sun's hitting it, you kind of see it's a pearl white with a little bit of metallic in it. Yeah, really nice. Really nice color all together. Um, we have a little paint cracking here, which is no big deal. You got a little seam seal that goes in here on this drip rail. And they painted it, which is fine to paint it. But when you paint it, over time, you just get just a little bit of cracking in that seam seal there. Again, door rubbers, definitely guys, are a must on this car. Would really uh, just make a huge difference on the whole thing, appearance inside and out. When they painted it, they did go ahead and paint the door jams, the pearl white as well. Um, put new carpet in it, uh, put new seat belts in the front. Did a great job uh, on the upholstery all together. So the, the vinyl and cloth inserts on the door panels match up excellent to the cloth inserts and vinyl on the uh, seats. When you step on uh, in the inside here, it's got the Studebaker uh, floor mats, new carpet. But the biggest thing is the polished dash is in great shape. And this is what I was impressed with, you guys. Um, as far as the, the tachometer works, the gas gauge, oil pressure gauge works. We've got 40 pounds of oil pressure after it's been warmed up. Horn works. Um, temperature gauge is running about 170 amp gauge work so every one of those gauges is working right now uh, it's got uh, 4054 miles on the odometer obviously not the original it's been turned over or new gauges AM FM little Studebaker cassette got the factory speaker in here works fine three-speed manual uh, with overdrive as far as our uh, dome lights work here, and there's just got the driver's side dome light. It does not have one on the passenger side, didn't come with one. Uh, it's got the little vent kick out windows here, which they function properly. Back seat, back door panels, everything's all matching, guys, with kind of that tweed cloth with the uh, vinyl, and it's in excellent shape. I really like this interior, Dalton. There's just absolutely nothing wrong with it. Very nice. Seats are nice and straight in there, all mounted properly. Doors shut good. But there's nothing negative about the car. The worst thing I've seen so far is a little paint on the rubbers. Yeah. Yeah, uh, dual exhaust sounds good. Yeah, it does. It does. I like the, the back ends on these. I mean, it's just cool. Oh, yeah, those yeah. high fins. High fins, the way that trunk sit. Golden Hawks, which is just that next step up, guys, yep. bring a ton of money. Now, all the Golden Hawks are the hard tops version. So they don't have the post. Correct. The Silver Hawks have the our sedans. They have the post. Also, kind of something neat, too, the Golden Hawks you could get with a supercharger. Oh, damn. Two nine thing, supercharge. That yeah. thing would be freaking wild. And those Golden Hawks with the supercharger, guys, are super high-dollar cars. So you can own this thing and... Uh, way at a fraction of the cost. Guys, go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. I don't even know um, by the time this video comes up if this car will be for sale anymore. We priced it to sell. Don't let the price fool you. This is a great car, guys. Uh, we want to sell it this week, so. One of these days, I'm going to teach Dalton to uh, get his shadow away from the car. I just, I don't know. <laughs> can't get that through his head. What's going on with that, dude? I don't know, I just it slips my mind every time. But we got a couple of paint touch-ups here. And like the worst, yep, yeah, the worst part of the whole car, like Dolan pointed out, it had a little paint crack right here, guys. Well, actually, it's a scratch, look at it. It's just a scratch, see how it starts right here? Yeah. And you can't feel anything here, and it just kind of got into the paint just a little bit. It was touched up a little bit there. 
there's Dalton Shadow again. <laughs> um, a couple more paint chips right here in this rocker panel, but just check that bottom of that door, the rocker, the lower quarter, um, all the way down here to the lower fender. Just super solid, guys. You don't have your typical bubbling and stuff, especially on an older paint job. A lot of times, uh, you know, years down the road, you'll have a little bubble or two. Um, this car's really clean. The glass all looks really good. Again, that driver's side door panel all is nice and clean. Corner of the door looks nice. Factory uh, VIN number and stuff stamping in here. I think we're ready to cruise, man. We got a three quarters tank of gas and we could hit the road with this thing, get some decent mileage and get out of state with her. Oh yeah. No one, I mean, I think you wouldn't be very incognito though. I mean, this thing's kind of hard to miss. It definitely is. <laughs> um, as far as we talked about our turn signals working out on the hood, they also work here on the dash as well. Okay. So what's just absolutely amazing with this thing, the wipers work, two speed wipers, every freaking thing works on it. It's always so, hard to find. It is, especially on a rare Studebaker. It ain't like you just go out and get parts everywhere. Yeah. That's so true. whoever had this car really took care of it. Um, and again, if a guy wants to beat us up on the price a little bit, we'll keep those wheels and tires and put those original wheels and hubcaps back on. But yeah, to but me, this guys, gave it a better look. And after you watch this video, go on there, look at classiccars.com, look at anywhere, and look what these Studebakers are selling for. And then look at our price. Um, it's, it's a great car. Check out the, the alignment on it. It's absolutely perfect. The steering wheel is perfectly straight going down the road. There's first gear, 2,000 RPM right there. Second gear, speedometer is working perfectly, 20 mile an hour. Here's our brakes. Stop nice and straight. Definitely no need for power steering either, Dalton. We kind of talked about that. These cars that never came with it with these bigger steering wheels, it steers perfect. Shifting 3,500 RPM, 3,500 again. We're at 60 mile an hour right there. Shifting it down into third, 60, 70 mile an hour. Cruising down the road, 80, not an overdrive. Pushing 3,100 RPM. Not real sure on the overdrive, we're gonna try it here. There we go, kicks right into overdrive. That's very cool, I wonder how many stews they made with overdrive. Three not positive. Overdrive. Probably not too many. I'll tell you what, look at the way this thing goes down the road, guys. Still perfectly straight down the road. We're doing 70 mile an hour right now. I'm gonna go ahead and check these brakes and see how we're doing here. Stops nice and straight, guys. Very, very little pull to the right. Very, very little. Horn neat car. The horn needs just a little bit more horn juice to her. Yeah, the horn juice. Horn, horn juice. Horn juice. She's a little, <laughs> she's a little low on horn fluid. <laughs> Man, this thing gets up and goes though. Look at this. Yeah, it shifts nice. I think we screwed up. We said classic car video, classic car walker. We should have said damn, just said muscle car. Muscle car. That's all. 1958 Studebaker is a muscle car. <laughs> Seriously, look at it. That drives awfully nice. Guys, go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, check this baby out. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, go to our Facebook page. Like us there. Follow us on Instagram. See you next time.